All right. Well, uh, let's go ahead and talk about some numbers here. We have dipped down or we dipped down to 31 this morning, which makes it the first time we hit the freezing point at the SeaTac Airport. Now that is a little earlier than normal. Typically, it should be right around November 13th, but here are some of the numbers. If you want to gauge some of the earliest times we have done it, it's been more so into October, mid October back in 1946 and 19. 49 where we dip down to 32 and earlier this year. Yeah, you may have remembered that we did dip down quite chilly on the 25th of this year, but it was only down to 34, so we didn't quite hit that freezing point. Well, the cold air is here now and it's going to be more of a theme here throughout the week. Right now at 38 with the wind that is currently calm, so no extra chill added to that bite of the air. Now we do have more of the cool air mass too in parts of the western part of the country. That's more situated and centered over more of the northern Rockies, though you go farther to the west for us. Uh, we're on the tail end of it, but we're definitely feeling it for sure. A lot of lower 40s and upper 30s as our current numbers 40 and Everett. Those numbers cooler than yesterday because well, we don't have the sunshine that's around to help to warm things up. Plus we got some moisture out there, but for the time being, I think for today's moisture, a lot of that's going to be relatively light. That system's going to head out of here, but we're going to have some deeper moisture start to work its way in, and that's going to help to produce more of the steam that we're going to see of more of the lowland rain and the mountain snow. So as we go ahead and time it out for you throughout this evening, yeah, still going to be around, still keeping an eye on areas closer to the Cascades as those will start to pick up on the additional snowfall moving in, and uh, more of it's going to be falling and sticking as we head on into the night. Still some of it around tomorrow, and yes, with the additional moisture moisture for Tuesday. We'll expect some heavier rain showers and snow showers as we go into the day there. As far as the amounts, we're calling for some of those passes to see about an inch for today, but then we'll head into tonight. We'll get an additional two to maybe three inches in some spots. You can see snow Snoqualmie around four, Stevens Pass right around four inches, and then we really start to pick up on some of the amounts throughout the day tomorrow and then heading on into Wednesday as well, which uh, we'll keep on piling it up there. As far as your forecast for today, we top off around the low to mid 40s, 43 in Everett, about 44 in Arlington. Tonight's lows will stay above the freezing point this time, upper 30s and lower 40s for a lot of those numbers. And here's a look at that seven day forecast 45 for today. Rain showers increasing, seeing more of the heavier rain around for the day tomorrow as we top off at 47. I think for a lot of the day on Wednesday, we're not calling for uh, widespread rain. There will be some periods here and there and probably primarily during the morning hours. But for Veterans Day, any festivities or uh, anything that might be going on there, I think a lot of that day does stay drier for us with some sun breaks ahead for our day on Thursday before we do see more rain chances on into the weekend. All right. Thank you, Adam.